Kanal Gamer. Hello gamers and welcome back. Welcome back to my mountain pass with this amazing little tank ELZ even 90. We're gonna watch Dave Javu. Haha, <laughs> nice nickname because his name is Dave Javu, you know, get it? Haha. <laughs> And he's going to play one of the most fun premium tanks out there, the ELC V90. On the one, on one of the most horrible maps for a light tank, which is a Mountain Pass. And yeah, everybody that's doing missions, light tank missions, or everybody that loves playing lights, knows that this map usually sucks donkey balls when you get it. But ELC, this ELC is going to try to maximize it uh, in terms of spotting and everything and Dave just ran over this tree Lumberjack Dave just ran over this tree to provide some additional foliage wow big words coming for you Mr. Indian man yes yes and uh, he, his death tree right now is uh, working as a push and he's just spotting everything going uh, crossing over I feel bad for that Löwe, that Löwe is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's around 890 or 900, let's say 900 uh, HP left, and all he did this round was just trying to get into position to fight, and uh, well Löwe, it's still a long way to get uh, to get there, St still a long, still a long, my fucking English dude, still a long way, Löwe, Mr. Löwe Löwe, and uh, yeah, so, Dave just did a uh, nice, nice little cheeky bricky spot in the beginning, 1800 uh, peasant damage, assisted damage, however you want to call it, spotted damage, everything's the same because damage is damage, and uh, well he went into this valley part because, well, his teammates are already on the bridge, they already spotted the left side, this middle river side is kind of bad, and um, so he just decided to stick here knock over some trees again to provide additional cover for him and he's just going to passively spot more of these shitbirds that are coming around the corner so yeah this map like i said it's pretty horrible pretty horrible for light tanks well basically uh, wargaming designed it you know even put one corridor here put one corridor in the middle put one corridor bridge and put one corridor left Make sure two corridors can be shotable from each side, da da. And there's that Lova. He still, he managed to get, finally managed to get into position, and he's already down on 500 HP. What a game for Lova! What a game. I hope I'm going to remember to check out how much damage this Lova did, because he's just getting spotted and hammered from the base. He's just getting spotted, hammered spotted again absolutely hammered all right dave is still alive still no damage from dave because if he took a shot right now because of this elc right here he would get spotted instantly that isuk which packs the big gun would hit him maybe if he's lucky one shot him i don't know and uh yeah now he needs to skedaddle away because this carnevron is coming real close. I know that you wrote it in the comments how to pronounce Carnavran Lavaran, but it's just funnier this way for me. I don't want to learn this name, how to pronounce this name of this thing. Alright, he managed to skadoodle away. He even did one cheeky little shot, he penned one shot, and he's running off with 3400 uh, peasant damage. Now, he can go the ice road, which is Pointless because there's already three of his teammates brawling over there, so he can do shit. Pointless also to go on the bridge because the bridge is lost. There's a Type 61. He's just gonna get farmed. So the only thing he can do right now is turn around. He can't even go into the river section because there's a CS and an STRV. So he decided to go back where he came from. Not his mama's vagina, but uh, this position, you know, this side of the map. Alright, he's still gonna be a little cheeky little bastard here. 
he's gonna reload because the standard pan on this gun is horrible it has 175 uh, penetration and premium rounds have I think 215 let's check 215 pen with premium shells which is also pretty horrible if you get into a tier 10 game but that's not the primary primary role for this tank you need to spot 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 and maybe do some more spotting because the, the tank is so small it's undetectable uh, the enemy has to really 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 come close and uh, yeah let's see he's going back here he's still not spotted please he's still not spotted and the vz on his team said downs team all right we're gonna check how downs team dave's team really is but he went back and he's going to actually fight either the lover he can go take the lover he's gonna take one shot and finish off the lover or this and it seems that the cs is going to Ooh. take some beating from dave nicely done that's his first frag and 500 damage but almost 4000 peasant damage now if i were dave i would go for the lure you take one shot but you finish off a target and that flank is secured so but i think yeah i think he wanted to do this got scared but thankfully the lure just did a critical hit on him so he's going to finish him off just like we said bang Ooh. Bye bye, Lure. Good night, sweet prince. And now all Dave needs to do is somehow get get this STRV out of the fight. And then the only thing that's uh, urgent is those four tanks coming up the ice road into their base. But let's check what's gonna happen. They need to deal with this STRV. He just got shot for 500. I think that was the Waffle Jr. Now he's still farming the peasant damage and he's going to go for it. The STV is showing his ass and surprise butt sex in 3, 2, 1. There we go. One more second frag. He spotted, he's gonna reload. And that's it. Now the only people alive are the Bizonte, Amex and Dave. And they all have three frags, which means they are... They are the guys that are gonna carry this to the end or lose i don't know let's see amx for frag and dave is gonna go in and deal with this is6 mandingo version all right let's go the amx just shot him he's on to finish him off dave st still has a full clip and he's going to penetrate this lover quite nicely in the ass nice ass penetration there by mr dave and all three went inside that love is full and he's gone there's there's the bizonte taking the frag the bizonte has now five frags the amx has four dave has three all they need to do right now is invite each other to a play and they've done it they beat me to it they i wanted to say they need to invite each other for a platoon to get the bia medal and if I'm not mistaken, they already have the crucial contribution medal, which is if you kill 12 enemy tanks uh, in, in your platoon. So all they need to do now is just survive the game and uh, win it. They need to deal with that Arty. Arty seems kind of capable because he has four frags and this map is really... I'm not an Arty player, but I'm just assuming here I'm spitballing, balling. And that this map is kind of easy for an arty because of all those choke points in the corridors. And I don't know, we'll see. I think Dave's gonna spot the arty first. The artillery is either gonna be up the hill or down. Usually they're down. And the Udas is, I'm guessing, up top. But um, I'm not the wisest man. There's the arty, bottom. And the Udas as well, both bottom. Super strange position for that uh, Udes to take. I don't know what he was waiting for because... Wait, did, did Dave's team even push to that corner? No, they all died over there on that section. So I don't really know what the Udes was doing. Was he here the entire round just doing absolutely nothing? Mm, doesn't matter. They have this platoon 
currently has 13 frags combined. 13 frags combined. Now the, the Udis went up? The Udis actually went up. I don't know. Strange decision, but now the Bizonte and Dave are just going to... You know, one's gonna peek. The other's gonna peek when uh, the Udis is not looking and they're gonna take turns in shooting him, you know. Kind of like a gang bang if you say so all right let's go the Ud is looking at dave bizon is gonna come in shoot again Udis is not looking just shot and dave has a clear path to take the last frag Ooh. fantastic 14 frags combined in this platoon random platoon in a random game all right let's go check the post game stats hokey smokey ace tanker Crucial contribution, because the platoon managed to kill at least 12 enemy vehicles, they killed 14. And a brother is in arms. Alright, let's go to the next step. Next step. 2.2k of damage for Dave, with 5 frags and 1485 base experience. Bizonta did 5.3, with also 5 frags and almost 1800 base experience, nice. The AMX did 5k with 4 frags and 1100 base experience, basically these three guys did most of the grunt work and well the t30 the conqueror which were top tier you know did zero enemy team did a little bit better but it is what it is somebody has to lose in the end and they've actually managed to get 65k of profit nice game shit map for a scout but somehow they managed to uh, make it work and kudos to those three guys killing 14. Can't remember last time I had two platoon mates and did that. So that's that. I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe and don't get beaten by the police.